that, let's take a look at the gold price. Actually, after the rise during the trading time, the gold has dropped down a little bit, but not the full range of the rise. So it shows some weakness after the trading time. And if we check it in the candlestick, we can see here it still formed a green candle. And this green candle has the continual meaning with the formal two candles. Because if we connect here, yeah, this is the uptrend. Uptrend, uptrend channel, and uh, we said that here gold has dropped out of this uptrend, but for now it has kept steady here, because everybody thinks the election has not seen a clear result now for now, but the market has seen through the election, the market has seen further longer. And uh, they believe that anyway, no matter who wins the election, the US dollar still has a possibility to be weak. So it's not easy for gold to drop too much from here because the liquidity in the market is still strong. As we can check online that the balance sheet of the Federal Reserve has reached the old time high but not a new high it's nearly the same with the balance at a match this year so we can see the liquidity in the market is still enough to support the gold price it's the problem and it's the concern of that is there any more liquidity in the market but the answer cannot be found for now so the gold chose to go steady here it's a positive sign for gold but still not bullish enough so let's wait and see if there's some fundamental change can push the gold price up from here and go through this uptrend then it will be a very positive sign for gold in midterm but for now it's only steady thank you